Hi, John Schuster here with the John Schuster Group of Coldwell Banker Burnett. And today we're going to talk about on our video blog, how long does it take to close a home? We get this question all the time from, from both buyers and sellers, and so we thought we'd address it today. The typical average time frame to close a transaction is typically between 45 to 60 days. Now again, there's many factors that can affect a closing date. The biggest one can be the type of financing that you're doing on a property. If you're doing uh, FHA financing or VA financing, that can take a, t a little bit longer than normal conventional financing. There's some longer and more stringent requirements through the appraisal process and underwriting process that go through with both VA and FHA loans. The appraisal process is uh, the appraiser digs a little more deep and they want to check to make sure that there's everything is taken care of on the property so that buyer can move in without being burdened with lots of repairs. Another type of buyer that you'll see come in is a, a cash buyer or an investor. Uh, a cash buyer or investor, we've seen them come in and close as fast as 10 days. Uh, we've seen some investors come in and they let the seller pick a closing date and it's a great option for some sellers that want the flexibility to close on a time and date that works for them. As long as the other terms work for the investor, you can see that vary between a 10-day close and a six-month close, um, typically what works best for the seller. Now, in closing a home, there's a life cycle of a deal. And kind of walking through that from when a buyer first starts the, the process of, of looking for a home or a seller lists their home, once a, a buyer wants to put a purchase agreement done on a property, the buyer and seller go into a negotiation period. And that can be as little as an hour or as long as a week or two. Um, in this market, our market moves pretty fast, so we see buyers really have to step to the table pretty fast, especially if it's a newly listed property. Once a purchase agreement has been ratified, at that point, typically, if there's an inspection contingency, the next stage of the transaction is going to be in the inspection contingency phase. And that can last usually somewhere between 10 to 14 days. And that's the time frame for the buyer to go through and, and do their due diligence on the property and have their, their buyer's inspection completed. Sometimes they're doing radon inspection. Uh, on properties that are outside of city water and city sewer, you might see a septic inspection or a well inspection. Uh, if you're building, there's different due diligence inspections as far as getting permits and whatnot, and we can walk you through that whole process. Once the inspection contingency is released, if it's a finance property, typically the next stage is going to be the appraisal process. At this point, the bank is going to hire a third-party appraisal company to come out and verify that the price the property sold for truly reflects market value. Once the appraisal process is completed, title work is also likely being done at the same time. The buyer hires, in the state of Minnesota, the buyer hires a title company to go through and scrub title and make sure that there's no cloud on title, that the property that they're purchasing uh, is free of all defects on title and they can buy it without any encumbrances. Once the title work is completed and the appraisal is completed, the lender takes it all and then it goes into what we call the final underwriting period. And this can last anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Sometimes we'll see a lender needs an updated copy of a pay stub, or they have a question about an appraisal so they need to reach back out to the appraiser, or they need an update of this or that from the buyer. Sometimes the lender can come back to the borrower two or three times asking for updated copies of things. Once everything is done and the lender has dotted the I's and, and crossed the T's, where they then release what's called the clear to close. At that point, everyone's happy because we know the loan is fully through the underwriting process and the buyer is ready to close. The last thing is the buyer will typically do a final walkthrough before closing. Then the next day or that day, everyone goes to closing and the transaction closed and funded. That is a typical process for purchase agreement to end and typically that whole process is around 45 to 60 days. Now, if you're a buyer and you're thinking of purchasing a home in the greater Twin Cities area, please click on our link here to see all the active inventory. Our database is updated every 10 minutes or so, so you can see new homes before anybody else. And if you're a seller and you're thinking of bringing your home to the market uh, this year or next, 
Please feel free to click on this link to get a free market analysis of your home. And as always, you can call us anytime at 952-333-SOLD uh, to get a market analysis on your home, any real estate questions, or start the buying process. Thanks again for watching our video blog, and I hope you have a great day.